Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have created this look. I have used this quad eyeshadow palette and a lot of products from Nykaa. This is the first time I have tried this eyeshadow palette. So, someone has asked me to try it with this and make a full tutorial with this eyeshadow palette. So, here I am with this beautiful look. I think I have created a beautiful hello eye look using this eyeshadow palette. So, if you guys want to know how I've created this look, then keep on watching. And also, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell without further ado let's get started so first i'm going to take in moisturizing primer i'm going to use this one this is the plume silk blur moisturizing primer so i'm going to take a little bit of it it feels quite hydrating detergent kind of smell in it that thing i don't like about it Next, I'm going to use this Nykaa Prep Me Up Face Primer. I'm going to use it very little bit of it. Uh, winter season, I don't have much pores in my face. So, I'm going to add a little bit of it only in the cheeks. And this is quite good. This is not drying. The benefit one, the benefit for professional one little bit is drying for winter. But it is good for summer. But this one is good for winter because it is not drying i have done two of my primers next i'm going to move on to foundation i'm going to use this nika all day matte foundation normal to combination skin matte and long wear though they have said it matte but i don't think it is too much matte it is for me it is quite dewy but let's see how it goes on my skin during winter so i'm going to apply it in dots and i am in the shade 13 honey I'm going to blend this using a brush. So yeah, it is not feeling too much matte for me. Next, I'm going to move to concealer. I'm going to use the combination, this two concealers from e.l.f. Cosmetics. One from e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. It is in the shape Deep Olive. And to add a little bit of highlighting effect, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Camo Concealer Matte Finish in the shade Neutral Tan. First, I'm going to use the Hydrating Concealer. This is actually darker than my foundation shade also. Deep Olive is quite dark. But this is going to add a little bit of more coverage. And I'm going to take this back cosmetics makeup sponge to blend it. This concealer is very good, it is very hydrating. Even the foundation also is good for winter. I can wear it in winter. So I'm going to use this one to get some highlighted effect. And I'm going to use the center portion of my face. And a little bit here. So I'm going to use a brush to blend it because I don't want to, you know, move my concealer on all over my face. And brush will make sure it is in certain places only. And I love this brush from, from Mars Cosmetics. Very similar kind of brush from Morphe also. It is E8. I love to use it for contouring. But this one is very good. So this is from the Mars Tools of Titans. Now you can see I got some dimension in my face. So next to add some contour to my face, I want to add some darker shade of foundation. I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution uh, London Fast Face Stick Foundation in the shade F15. This foundation is quite creamy. I'm going to use it here, and slightly here. It's very little to my nose. I'm going to blend it because it is very pigmented and it is very creamy also. It has given a dimension to my face. Next time as blush, liquid blush, I'm going to use this lipstick from Nykaa. It is the Nykaa All Day Matte Lipstick in the shade Boho. So I'm going to take it in the back of my hand. This is how the shade looks. It is a little bit of bronzy pink. It is, this lipsticks are not too much matte. It's matte on the lips but yeah, you get some time to play with it. I'm going to take the concealer brush and blend the edges and I'm going to use a powder. I'm going to blend the blush and the concealer. I need little bit of the lighter concealer.
Now I'm going to set my base using this K Beauty Loose Powder in the shade Banana. First I'm going to set the concealer using the powder and then bake my under eyes. I love this powder. This is a very good powder. This does not give much coverage but it sets green products. For baking I'm going to use the Sugar Cosmetics All Set to Go Banana Powder. Alright, my base makeup is done. Next, I'm going to move into my eye makeup. So, I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette. This is the Nykaa Eye Color Palette 01 Night Out. It has three matte shades and one glitter shade. So, I'm going to create a look with this. You can use these two colors to fill in your brows also. I'm going to try it. So, I love this quad palettes from Nykaa. They are well pigmented. So, first, I'm going to go my brow here and remove the powder if any. And I'm going to take the mixture of those two powders, one black and one brown. As you can see, both of them are good matte powders. And I think it went good. So I can say this is a multi-purpose eyeshadow palette. And yeah, the brows are perfect. So yeah, this uh, shade is quite cool tone. Next, I'm going to move into my eye makeup. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to take this shade, the lighter shade. And I'm going to blend it in my crease in a windshield wiper motion. So this is my favorite brush from Sephora. I did not find a similar kind of brush in any other brand. It is very good. So I'm going to use this is of a similar kind of brush, a little bit smaller in size. And I'm going to apply this shade to my crease because I already I set my eyelid using a white banana powder and in cheap wiper motion I'm going to apply the powder and it is going to define my crease and also it is going to make sure the rest of the powder I'm going to put it in my eyelid it is going to blend it and this powder is very good quality I like this eyeshadow palette, the quad palette. This is the first time I'm using a night eyeshadow palette. And as you can see, it has made my eyelid given a blank space to my eyelid. I'm going to take this shade as my nose contour also. Now, there are a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I think this one is more like smoky. Like if I use this one in the center, hello eye, I can make a beautiful hello eye with this. So I'm trying to make a beautiful hello eye with this palette. So first I'm going to take this black shadow. So I'm going to take this small blending brush from Mars Cosmetics with the pencil brush. So I'm going to take this deeper shade, the black shade, and I'm going to apply it to the outer and inner portion of my eye. So I already have done my base makeup, so I need to be very careful while doing playing with black eyeshadow so I'm just going to take it and then remove the excess and I'm dabbing just this black shadow I'm going to dab it I'm not spreading too much because it may become a little bit overwhelming you know using a black shadow it can spread everywhere so this was quite good now I'm going to take a fluffy brush so I'm going to take this starfish uh, shade of the brown shadow and I'm going to blend the edges I'm going to join the center portion and the blend the edges wherever I have applied the black and I'm not going to touch the black once I have blended the outside thing I'm going to intensify and then blend it the outside of it like this now i can directly go with the glitter but i like to prefer to use a concealer in the center portion to make the glitter more pop so i'm going to use little bit of the concealer very little bit of it and i'm going to blend it using a lip brush or any flat brush you can use but this is a lip brush from sigma and then i'm going to blend it now I am going to use this golden glittery shade using my finger. This is quite buttery. And yeah, this is my hello eye looking.
Next I am going to slightly blend it more the edges of the glitter so that everything looks blended and I like to go for a little bit of more glitter. I am going to take this uh, highlighter palette from Nykaa. It is in the shade glitter it is 02 rose gold and blonde gold. So I am going to take this shade this is rose gold or uh, this is blonde gold I think whatever it is. I am going to take this more golden shade and I am going to apply it to the center to make my eye look more pop. At this point I like to go for a glitter but I'm not applying any more glitter. I'm going to finish off my other makeup and get back to it. Well my both my eye makeup is done. Now this eyeshadows are very buttery, smooth and all good about it. I can create a lot of looks and I'm going to order some more also. This was good palette. I'm going to order more. The glittery are not too much bam or glittery. They are similar to a highlighter I think. So this was good. I'm going to now remove the baking under my eyes. Next I'm going to apply some eyeshadow to my lower lash line. I'm not making it too black. I'm going to take this shade and apply it to my lower lash line. And also connect this to like this i'm not going to make it too much dark or black next i'm going to apply some liner so i'm going to use this uh, nika i am kajal so i'm going to touch line my upper and lower lash line So I'm going to use this Sugar Cosmetics Mascara. This is the lash of the Titans Volumizing Mascara. Alright, my eye makeup is almost done. Now for bronzing my face, I'm going to use this one. This is from Nykaa. This is the compact powder in the shade 05 to C10. And this is quite dark for my skin tone. I love to use it for bronzing my face. I like to dab this product. Next I am going to use the blush from Nykaa. This is the Nykaa Get Cheeky Blush Duo in the shade Brazilian Bombshell. So I am going to take the mixture of these two blushes. I am going to blend the brush and the powder so that I don't have a harsh line here. Same thing I am going to do for the forehead so that everything looks blended. Next I am going to set my face using this Elf Skin Holy Hydration Coconut Mist. Next I am going to take this highlighter from Nykaa. This is a Nykaa Glow Glitter Highlighter Duo in the shade Glitterity. I don't want too much of highlighter. Just, I'm just going to put very little bit of the highlighter. A little bit of the highlighter I am going to use it to the inner portion of my eyes. Next for lips I am going to use this lipstick from Nykaa All Day Matte Lipstick. It is in the shade Junkie. So I am going to mix these two shades. One is in the shade Junkie, another is Poho. First I am going to apply the shade Junkie. Junkie is more of like a brown. It's a beautiful nude for me, nude brown for me. And on the center I am going to use the shade Poho. It's light of pink. So I'm going to use this glitter from Swiss Beauty to make my eye look a little bit more pop. So this has chunk of glitter in it. So yeah, this is my finished look. I really like this eyeshadow palette. There are a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Uh, I think one more eyeshadow palette having three um, matte and one glittery. I love matte shadows more than glitter. So I'm going to go try new shadows. If you want me to try this uh, new eyeshadow palettes from Nykaa Quad palettes, let me know in the comment section below. This is how the look came. These eyeshadow palettes are very good and affordable. So it was looking perfect. I think it is looking very good. And I I really love this eyeshadow palette. So that's all for today's video. I love to create this eye look. I love to create a lot of eye looks. And if you guys want me to try some other eyeshadow palette, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye.